Hello friends. In this session, we will discuss the problem based on the correlation and regression. So see the problem. From the given table, from the table given below, that is value of x and the corresponding value of y they have given. Okay. They are asking find what correlation coefficient, second best fit line equation and third we have to find x when y is equal to 22 okay so this is the problem statement now friends when there is a problem based on either correlation or the regression or the best fit equation you have to follow the same procedure and you have to calculate total seven columns you have to draw okay now see which columns are required see here we have already learned in the previous sessions whatever the value of x they have given you have to write down as it is whatever the value of y they have given you have to write down as it is next column is dx next column is dy after that dx into dy and then dx square dy square very simple right now see here what you have done you have write down whatever the x is given you have write down whatever the y is given you have write down here now see here total value of x are 4 value so n will be 4 now what you have to do you have to find x bar x bar is simply summation of x upon n so summation of x 20 plus 30 plus 10 plus 15 is 75 so divide by n is 4 values so divide by 4 so you will get 18.75 so friends for ease of calculation, I can take directly a round figure value instead of 18.75, I can take 19, no problem. You can take 18, no problem. Okay. Now, next for y bar, for calculation of y bar, summation of this y. Okay. So, uh, 5 plus 15 is 20 plus uh, 30, you will get uh, 50, right. So, 50 divided by 4. So when you do this, you will get 20, uh, 12.5. But I repeat for ease of calculation, I am taking y bar 13. Okay. You can take no problem. I repeat for ease of calculation, you can take the round figure value. No problem. So I repeat x we have given, uh, x is given as it is, y is given as it is. x bar we have taken 19 and y bar we have taken 13 now we have to find the dx dx is nothing but x minus x bar so x is 20 minus x bar is 19 so 20 minus 19 is 1 30 minus 19 is 11 10 minus 19 is minus 9 15 minus 19 is minus 4 okay so these are the value of dx so similarly we have to calculate for dy dy is y minus y bar so what is the y here is the value of y y minus y bar y bar we have taken 13 so 5 minus 13 is minus 8 15 minus 13 2 10 minus 13 minus 3 20 minus 13 7 so these are the values for a dy now after calculation of dy you have to find very simple dx into dy so these are the dx these are the dy just multiply it okay so uh, 1 into minus 8 minus 8 11 into 2 is 22 minus 9 into minus 3 you will get plus 27 minus 4 into plus 7 you will get minus 28 okay so after doing the dx into dy you have to do the summation of it when you do the summation of it you will get 1 3 okay you will get 1 3 13 you will get okay so minus 8 plus 22 plus 27 minus 28 you will get 13 next steps are very simple just you have to calculate dx square so dx is a here we have already calculated just do the squaring just do the squaring nine minus nine the square 81 minus four the square 16 okay and at the end you have to calculate total that is the dx square will be summation of dx square will be 219 now next you have to calculate dy okay so here we have already calculated dy now dy square you have to calculate so here dy so just do the squaring minus 8 the square 64 2 the square 4 minus 3 the 9 7 the 49 and at the end you have to do the summation of a dy square so what is the summation of dy square it is the when you add all these value you will get 126 okay so i repeat in table what we have done 
x is given, y is given, x bar first we have to calculate it is 18.75 but for c cup calculation we have taken it as a 19. y bar we have calculated is 12.5 but for c cup calculation we have taken it as a 13. Okay. Now dx minus uh, dx we have calculated, dy we have calculated, dx into dy we have calculated, dx square and dy square we have calculated. Summation of a dx into dy, summation of a dx square, and summation of a dy square we have calculated. Now they are asking find the coefficient of a correlation. Now to find the coefficient of a correlation, we have the standard formula that is summation of dx into dy divided by under root of dx square into dy square. Just to put a value, summation of dx into dy is 13, right? under root of summation of a dx square is 219 summation of a dy square is 126 simply put the value when you solve you will get 0.078 this is the coefficient of correlation denoted by small r now next they are asking what best fit line equation now how to find the best fit line equation but they have not stated whether uh, we have to find the equation for x depend on y or y depend on x okay so we will calculate both no problem okay now see best fit equation see first this is what this is the formula for to calculate the equation when x depend on y and this is the equation when y depend on x okay now see when x depend on y it is x minus x bar is equal to b into x y into y minus y bar okay where b of x y is summation of x into uh, summation of dx dy divided by dy square whereas y minus y bar is equal to means y depend on x so y minus y bar is equal to b of x y into x minus x bar where b of x y is again simply summation of dx dy divided by summation of dx square so i repeat how to remember See, when you calculate x which is depend on y, which is depend on y, while calculating bxy, which is depend on y, so take in the denominator dy square. When you calculate y, y which depend on x, so in the denominator you have to take dx square for calculation of byx. Okay, so the important thing, you should remember these two equations. Okay, if you are remember able to one, then other you can automatically remember. Now we will calculate for first that is x is equal to which depend on y. Okay, now see this is the equation, this is the b by x. Just simply put the formula values in the formula. dxy summation of dx into dy is 13, we have already calculated, and summation of dy square is 1 to uh, 1 to 6. We have already calculated. So just as, uh, simply you will get value of b by x is 0 0.1031 okay now just to put a value in the uh, equation of line this is the equation of line so x minus x bar x bar we have taken 19 into b y x this is the value of b y x into y minus y bar y minus y bar y bar is 13 so just simplify it you will get x is equal to 0 0.103 y plus 17.66 okay so this is the equation of x okay now similarly you can calculate for y so y this is the uh, formulas for uh, b y x it is summation of d x into d y it is uh, d x into d y summation is 13 divided by summation of x square summation of x square is 219 when you solve you will get b of y x that is 0 0.593 okay now you got these two value what do you have to do uh, put this into y minus y bar is equal to b of y x into x minus x bar so y bar is we have taken here the uh, 13 right so see here here y bar we have taken 13 right so simply put the value here okay so simply put the value for y minus y bar is equal to b of y x into x minus x bar when you solve this you will get y is equal to 0 0.06 x minus 11.87 so this is the equation for x and this is the equation for y which is for the best fit equation if they are saying particularly calculate the best fit equation for y so you have to calculate this okay and 99 percent in the examination you will require to calculate y okay so remember this part you have to remember more carefully okay so this is the all about best fit equation now they are asking 
calculate x when y is equal to 22 here reversely they have asked okay so which equation you should use to find x we have to use obviously this equation right very simple no need to worry so we have to find x when y is 22 so this is the equation right what is the equation 0 0.103 y plus 17.66 so just to put a value of y is 22 so y put over 22 you will get x is 19.9 okay this is your answer so i repeat which steps to be followed in coefficient or regression you have to draw the table x y dx dy dx into dy dx square dy square after doing the table you should remember these three formula which are very very important coefficient of correlation you have to remember it is summation of dx into dy divided by under root of dx square dy square after that you should remember that coefficient of determination can be calculated simply r square equation for the line you have to remember x minus x bar is equal to b x y into bracket y minus y bar where a b of y x is summation of dx dy divided by dy square similarly for a b y x dx dy divided by b d of x square which you have to remember okay so after that they are asking value of x when y is 22 simply put here in the equation you will get the answer okay so in this way you can go for these uh, problems based on coefficient of a correlation and regression.